Hey everyone, I have another Impractical Jokers clip. This is, you call this a tip punishment. I have a feeling, I think I know what this is going to be, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope this isn't someone uh, telling people their tips suck. I could be way off on that, but that's just the obvious. And if it is, it's going to be so hard for me to watch. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Yeah, so today we've invaded the co-working space jointure, and you'll be playing a delivery guy. This lunch oh, it is. is. No. Delivering people's lunches, gratuity is not included. This is so and horrible. That's going to be good enough. <laughs> so, I had to tell them that. Yeah. yeah. All right, I have experience as a delivery person, but not as an asshole. <laughs> Man, punishments like this are the hardest. <laughs> oh, God. I am the delivery guy. I have a vest, bicycle helmet, hat. I have the cut-off gloves. All right, Sal, so everybody's uh, lunches are in this big bag here. You're just going to go one by one and uh, deliver the lunches. That's it. The tip is not enough, no matter what it is. Oh, my God, man. Yes, yes, yes. He's young. He's not going to tip well, Sal. Patty, I appreciate that. Oh, wow, he actually tipped pretty well. I don't think I can... Oh, I don't think I'd watch this, man. Come on. Count it. Sound count it. Come on. Oh, man. I'm glad you said it. Oh, I'm glad you said it. Oh, come on. I can't do this, guys. Oh, my God. I can't do it. Oh, man. Oh, it's a double header. Uh, this is Francesco. Guy tipped like three bucks, and it looks like he got like two burgers. And then silver two, and he was not included. Oh God, come on, man! I can't do this, guys. Okay, yeah, thank you. So this is. That was a small tip, but still. Stop bad mouthing the tip you got from. Come on. She hit me with the two. I got Oh shit, he gave five. Ah, I can't do this, guys. <laughs> I did six. This guy's so nice. Oh, I can't do it. Oh my god, he gave seven dollars. It looks like he only spit spent maybe twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, I couldn't imagine doing it. Oh my god, they better make a lot of money doing this show. I can't watch these. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't watch them. Oh my god, I can't do this. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, how are you? Picking up for. I got you. Thank you. Uh, Leon. Uh, this type of shit. <laughs> oh, come on, please, no. This type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it, guys. I'm done. <laughs> I want to see them tell them afterwards it was just a joke. God. <laughs> oh my God! What the fuck? <laughs> Of the tip. So the key card's probably with the rest of the tip. Uh, <laughs> That's it, bud. Uh, God. I can't watch ones like this anymore, man. I can't do it. He's trying not to be able to be recognized. God. That was probably the worst punishment I've ever seen. <laughs> I'd rather jump out of a plane, go into the ocean with the sharks. I would even rather pretend like, I don't know, Joe's done some embarrassing ones. Q's done some embarrassing ones, the one where he is uh, at the baseball field and has to say no to a woman proposing to him. 
I'd rather do any of those than this. This is just... Yeah, this is the worst. This is the worst. Couldn't even imagine. I really don't think I'd be able to do it. I mean, I guess if you paid me enough, which I don't know what they get paid an episode, I would assume it's probably at least... I would say at least 10000 an episode. And then, of course, I would think they get way more during every rerun, which is... I remember when I used to have cable, and Proctor Jokers was on like 24-7, so I'm sure they're making tons of money. Probably in the end, they end up making probably closer to like 50000 60000 an episode. But it's hard to tell, because I saw Joe's house he bought, and it wasn't really that nice of a house. I know it's in New York, somewhere in New York, I don't remember where, so it's got to be a lot more money. It's probably like California is, where even a shitty house still costs just a ton of money. But still, I feel like they could have got something a bit nicer. But they do dress way better now, so they've got to be rolling in some money. But still, this punishment sucked. <laughs> I can't watch any more like this. I'm not going to. I'm going to skip them. <laughs> I'll like, go to react to it, but the once I see it's like this, i got to just end the video. Because I can't do it. I couldn't even watch it. Yeah, this was just, this was horrible. The one guy gave like $7, and it looked like he, I mean... He maybe spent 20 bucks on food at most. I mean, a dollar tip's a bit shitty. You gotta give at least two, minimum. Or make an excuse to why you can't. I mean, I one time had to give like a, like an 85 cent tip. But that's because I had no damn money. I couldn't even afford the fucking food. It took me like a week to save up just to get the food. So then the tip, it's like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? I have to go in like my coin drawer and give them like specialty coins and stuff. Oh man, it sucks being poor. But still, if you are going to order food like that, especially to an office building where clearly they're working, it has to be minimum 15% tip. I even think it should be like 25% tip since they're driving to you. It's not just someone cleaning your table, which is part of their job. So I could see why you'd leave them a little bit less of a tip. But like those Uber Eats guys and stuff like that, I know they make no money. And I know they rarely ever get a tip. I mean, I watch those YouTube videos sometimes of people that like explain to you how much money they make during the week. And they make nothing. And they're driving nonstop. So to me, if you get one of those guys, even if you only spend five bucks, you have to give them another five bucks now. You know what I mean? If they're driving to your house, they're stopping getting your food. It's like, I mean, come on. You have to give at least 30%. At least. And if you're only spending a little bit of money and you're getting like the basic cheapest stuff, then you have to pay double. <laughs> It's the way I see it. I wouldn't do it unless I was getting paid double. But I also don't have money for a car, so I guess if I was doing it, I'd want <laughs> I'd want like a 500% tip. Because <laughs> I'll be running to your door. I still love Impractical Jokers, though. This punishment, though, fucking sucked. <laughs> it sucked. This was horrible, man. I mean, it was funny, but I can't, can't watch it. This is too bad for me. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you thought of it, if it's something you could do. Some people don't have any issue doing stuff like this. I do. I care too much about what people think for some reason, and I try to be so nice to people. So, yeah, a punishment like this would be the absolute worst for me. I'd rather do something that's going to get me hurt. I'd rather get hurt. I'd rather get tased, 100%. Shoot me with a taser over do this. And it's not even close. I'd rather get shot with a taser. Would I really, though? Because uh, that's a big thing to say. I would, though. I can't do this. That's the problem. A taser, you just it's over with. You don't know the pain until it's happening. It's easier. I'd rather deal with pain. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one.